Hi guys, I'm Ryan Newsman and welcome to my flight hunting channel. If you haven't already done so, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Uh, that'll keep you up to date with everything as I upload it. Uh, my channel already contains hundreds of videos covering a wide range of both patterns and techniques from the basic to the more advanced. Uh, so without delay, let's get on with the show. Okay, so I'm going to tie a fly called the Ballandary Black. Now, this is a famous uh, pattern of Tommy Hannett's, as I understand it, for the Ballandary River in Northern Ireland. And uh, it's for targeting the Dolahan. The Dolahan is uh, a large trout that lives in Loch uh, Ney and then it travels up the rivers to spawn. It's a little bit like a sea trout coming out of the sea. This comes out of a, a big lake in the middle of Northern Ireland. So uh, I have here a size 8 B175 and I'm going to use a black tie and thread. So I'll add that on just behind the hook eye and take it back here till I'm level with the point, snap it off and then I'll continue back a little bit. So uh, I'm going to put on like a tag or butt if you want, if you want to call it, of yellow floss. So I shall tie that in here. Travel slightly back towards the uh, barb and then what I like to do is to flip upside down because I can then use the bucket if you want to call it of the bend within your hook to wrap into and get back to this tie in point then I'll take my thread over that and I'll wrap it forward a little bit, fold it back and snip it off. The body's going to be a black seal fur anyway so we're not going to see anything that was wrapped up underneath it. So next uh, the tail. So the tail is tippet. So golden pheasant tippet. Now what I've done is nipped the center out of this feather. And then I am going to stroke fibers back, separate them at a point in the in the stock, and then I'm going to tie across that and let it roll flat on the top. Now those wraps aren't overly tight, and you might say, well, "What is this man at?" But what we're going to do is. Take a couple more loose wraps down to the point where we want our tail to be actually tied in and then I'm going to pull this by the stock forward, forward, forward until I reach a length that suits my own liking, which should be somewhere between half a hook length and a full hook length I would say. I like the two bars of the, of the tip to be showing and you have to sort of take into consideration how much is going to be shown the back so it's not drastically uneven. So we'll just tie that in forward. So ribbing on this fly is flat gold tinsel. Now I'm actually going to use a gold metal tinsel here. Vintage gold metal tinsel. I'll use Mylar, Lurex, whatever you have. Just be careful if you are using metals that they can snip your thread on you. So I'm now going to wax the thread a little bit here and we're going to dub on a body of black seals fur. So I'll take my bunch and sort of spread it along my wax bit of thread couple of twists to start and once I get a couple of fibers to start 
catch and then I'll take a wrap over them that'll secure it and I can make this dubbing rope so we now start to wrap and try and create nice even body and then just be careful with your first turn of tinsel especially if it's metal that it doesn't snap on you and I'm going to rib the body in that old tinsel take a turn across it fold it back on itself and tie over and that will secure everything in place so that is our body done so hackle on this one is a black uh, so I'm going to use a natural black it is a cock hackle this one but you could use a hand hackle if you want this one's sort of a webby type cock hackle and I'm going to double this now up in the corner you might see a little information icon and that should get you a link to my techniques playlist uh, where it covers things like hackling and doubling hackles and dubbing etc so I've doubled that I'm going to tie it in by its tip and fold that back on itself and then I'm just going to wrap that forward now you can see I'm getting my fingers in the way so I'm sliding the hackle through my finger and thumb and that helps with the doubling effect but also I am stroking it backwards and I'm twisting the stalk you can see I might be twisting the stock to lay it on flat as I go and that'll make it sweep back nicely. So how densely you tie the fly is up to your own preference and what you're aiming at. Uh, I'm going for something with a bit more weight to it because this one isn't palmered. Uh, I just want a little bit more body to it especially if we end up fishing in coloured water. just gives it more of a solid outline contrast for the fish to hit so uh, the wing on this one is uh, mallard although the dressing does call for a tippet insert so I'm going to take the feather that we had for the tail and I'm going to do the same job again with it I'm going to separate it out and then I'm going to tie across the stalk and then slide this forward until I end up with this little sparse -ish bunch like a wing. I'll trim that off. I'm going to wax up my thread. It's a nice neat tie in here. I'm just going to fold back that and we're going to put on a mallard wing. So we take a bronze mallard feather, take the fibers on it, hold on to them and then slide the thing out to level up the tips here. Once the tips are fairly level, I will rip the fibers all off the stem. One, two, some of the stem came with this one, so I'm just going to cut the stem connections off and that'll keep them level. And then we're going to make a wing. So you may have seen me roll wings in the past, but you can also do a stack. So you can take, uh, split your bunch and lay it on top of it and you can do that as many times as suits you just again just turn them out so that they are flat I'm going to split this one again 
And I'll always lay the best looking uh, slab on top. So once I get, this is now four layers thick, I'll then set that on the top. And you'll see how long do you want it? Do you want it this length? Do you want it very long? Up to yourself. I'm going to make this one longer than the uh, tippet bits that I put in there. So I'm going to set it out to maybe three quarters tail length and then I'm going to fold it over the top of that. Pinch it in place and then do a pinch loop tighten upwards the second one. And when I'm happy it's in place then I can wrap back over it. As you can see we have a nice mallard wing with the little accents of tippet underneath it as an underwing. Trim that off. I'm going to take a little dab of really runny clear varnish and get it in there before I wrap over that and that to me will just secure the wing tie in even more so. And then we shall tie it down. So this fly you can tie in a variety of different sizes. It, obviously if you're targeting bigger predatory migratory type trout you're probably safer to go to the larger sizes uh, and you could also add jungle cock uh, for eyes if you head up in size or we can scale it down and tie it as far as 14 probably on uh, for trout so now I'm just going to take clear varnish and varnish the head of the fly. And that is our Ballandari Black Tide. So, hopefully you like what you see. If you do, uh, give us a like, subscribe, tell your friends, check out the other hundreds of videos that I have to suit all tastes on my channel. And uh, until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.